Hi, we're going to be talking about detonation devices a little bit today. One of the most common questions that we get asked by our clients and, and customers is how do we make those cannons go boom? How do we fire them? Well, we have lots of different options and I'm going to run through each and every one of those today. I'm going to be using two cannons today for demonstration purposes. The X6 is the larger cannon sitting in front of me with the two barrels pointing up at 45 degrees. This is a very versatile cannon. We have it configured right now as a floor mount um, with the 45 degree connectors. If we wanted this to be a floor mount with 90 degree connectors, we simply take those off, we'll put the 90s in and the barrels will shoot straight up. This cannon will shoot streamers 80, 85 feet straight up in the air or straight out, all depending how you have it configured. We can make it go less than that, but it actually will go as much as 80 or 85 feet. If we were to take the 90 degree connectors off and change them for straight connectors, put a C-clamp on it, you can now hang it from your truss. The cannon will shoot straight out over the heads of your audience. You can go ahead and aim this cannon to the left, to the right, up or down. Extremely versatile. The second cannon I'm going to use today for demonstration purposes is going to be this little baby right here. It's our smallest CO2 cannon. It's called the Tabletop. Um, it's totally wireless. No connections, no electricity are needed. That's what makes it so unique. It has a little receiver power pack that it comes with it. Uh, this acts as a receiver from our transmitter. I'll show you the transmitter just shortly. And the power pack that actually sends the power to the valve to fire it. The beautiful thing about this is it's so small, so compact, with no wires, you can hide it anywhere. You can put it in a flower arrangement. You can put it in a, behind a tree, behind a set piece, behind a curtain. It makes no difference. The wow factor, the surprise factor, is absolutely overwhelming. So these are the two cannons I'm going to use for demo today. I'm going to go ahead and get the detonation devices out on the table, and we'll run through each and every one of them. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I've uh, brought out uh, several of our different detonation devices on, on the table here, and I'm going to run through each one of them so you can see exactly how they operate. All right, the first detonation device I want to show you is a simple push button box. It has two ports on it. I have both of the cannon barrels plugged in separately. If I wanted to fire both barrels simultaneously, you would simply use a multi-cube, a multi-plug. You would plug the two barrels into the multi-cube and then come into the push button box. That way, when you push the button, both cannons will fire simultaneously. The box has an on-off switch. It lights up when it's on to let you know that it's activated and ready to fire, and it has push, push buttons. You push the button and the cannon goes. We'll do that now. I forgot to tell you, I took the barrels off because we're not actually going to shoot confetti today, but I did, I did put CO2 in so you can actually see how it goes. That's number one. The second uh, detonation device I'd like to show you using the X6 would be using our transmitter. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. It's a wireless transmitter that was designed by us and is built for us. Uh, it works with the X6, it works with the tabletop, it works with the pod, several other cannons that we have. Extremely versatile. Uh, it has protection codes built into it, so no other wireless device will interfere with it. Uh, it basically has unlock codes that it sends to the receivers. The receivers cannot be fired until that unlock code is received. So it's extremely effective. Um, what I've done here is I have a receiver mounted onto the XX itself, uh, and that receiver goes up to a relay. Uh, the relay closes when it receives a signal and fires the cannon. It's very, very simple. Uh, this particular transmitter is uh, effective up to uh, 300 yards, actually a bit more than that, but a very good effective range would be 300 yards, a football field. Uh, it can handle 999 different firing commands. Uh, we can program those to go all at once, go separately, uh, duration in between cannons, whatever you want to do. We can put them into groups, group one, group two, group three. You could fire group one in any sequence you want, and then you don't have to worry about accidentally setting off group two. You can save that for a later, a cue later in the show. Uh, all I'm going to do here to do this is basically punch in the receiver number or the group number. In this particular case, I just have the receiver number, number 46, send. And the cannon fires. Sort of jerked there, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, very effective. You can control each barrel separately or together. 
any way you want. If you had 10 of these X6s in a truss somewhere, or our pod, which has nine barrels on it, you could fire each barrel individually. Uh, well, along with the individual receiver, if you have several of these X6s uh, or using the pod on the, on the floor um, and you don't want to have a receiver on each one of them, you don't have to. We have a, a box here that we've actually built. This is a receiver power pack, very similar to our smaller receiver. This is a smaller receiver right here. Um, and what this, it, what this is doing is it has eight ports on it. So you would plug in eight barrels of the X6 individually, or if you want them to fire uh, you know, one cannon, both barrels at, at simultaneously, once again, you would use the, the power cube, the multi-cube. You put the multi-cube in, you go ahead and run your cannon uh, A and B over to this, then you run the next, the next cannon you have hanging over to port two, port three, port four. Each one of these has its own receiver programmed into here, total control, but just this one box in the, in the truss. That way you don't have a lot of separate receivers running around. Makes it really convenient. People ask us all the time, can you, are your cannons DMX compatible? Yes, they are. We use a box, a DMX power relay box. This one happens to be built by Doug Fleener. I think he's probably the best in the industry. Certainly a very tough box. What this has is six ports on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Totally programmable from the front. Uh, you just select your beginning number. Let's say it's 100. Uh, that would be port one would be 100, two would be 101, 102, 103, so forth. It has a five pin XLR connector in and out. So it just plugs seamlessly into your DMX loop. Um, it's providing the power to the cannon as well as the signal to the cannon. Very effective. We can daisy chain these boxes and basically it's unlimited on how many cannons you can control from box to box to box. Seamless. Those are some of the things on the X6. Let me show you the tabletop. The tabletop can be fired in a couple of different configurations. Let me just move this over here and we'll put the tabletop over here so we can see it. Tabletop can be fired with a simple push button comes with a 30-foot cord. You can hide this somewhere on the recipient's table or anywhere. As long as you have a way to run the, run the cord, you can be 30 feet away, basically push the button, and it fires. It can also be fired with the transmitter. The receiver power pack uh, not only is giving the power, but it's receiving the signal as well. So it will receive the signal from the push button, or it can receive the signal from the transmitter itself. Let's go ahead and fire it. We'll put the CO2 in. Well, we'll get it in there. There we go. Got to sort of screw that in quickly so it doesn't, uh, doesn't leak out. And I'll turn the transmitter on. There it is. Transmitter's on, CO2 is in, and basically we're going to push the button and it fires. Same way with the transmitter as I just did with the XX. You just go ahead and have that particular receiver number programmed in, number 24 in that particular case, 24 send, and it fires. So those are some of the different ways that we can fire our cannons off. Uh, we have many other cannons, uh, and most, most of our detonation systems will work from cannon to cannon. Uh, you don't have to buy or rent a whole bunch of different detonators. This detonator will work practically on everything we've got. This will work practically on everything we have as well. So give us a call. I hope that you found this interesting or instructional. Anyway, I enjoyed doing it. I sort of enjoy playing anyway. I love to make things go boom. Anyway, thanks a lot. Give us a call.